Hello everyone, welcome back to a, another video here. So, um, in case I don't know, the only reason why I'm, I know I said I would take a break from Souls games, but March, this March 20, March 24th through, you know, April 7th, that's going to be the, it's essentially the time that Bloodborne community has like a little event called Return to Yarnum. So, what am I doing? Returning to Yarnum. Right, now, um, so, so a couple of things to mention about this, this little playthrough we'll be doing. So, if I will not really be showing most of the areas in this game, um, if you want an actual sort of walkthrough-esque, or if you want to know the lore for Bloodborne, I heavily suggest you go watch Kermit the Pimp series. Also, I'm just going to start it. I will be skipping most cutscenes, except for bosses. And, uh, we want new game. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, we will be skipping most bosses. I mean, not most, we won't be skipping bosses, but, um, so those of y'all that are watching, it's like, hey, I'm new to Bloodborne, I want to know more about the game, and the lore, you have to go watch Kermit. Uh, I hope that, I might have to bleep that up, but, uh, my Kermit the Pimp series, I think enough time has passed now. <laughs> So you'll want to go watch the Kermit the Pimp series if you want lore and if you want more of a detailed description of the area. For the most part, I am going to be editing out all of the traversal sections. Almost all of them. You'll mostly be seeing bosses for the most part. Also, this series will be a lot shorter than usual. The exception of this, however, you know, in case like, hey, I watched the Kermit the Pimp series. Why do I want to watch this one? Well, this one will be all bosses. Except for Chalice Dungeon. That being said, um, I may or may not show the first Chalice Dungeon. Um, so there's that. So, and also, I will be using Ludwig's Holy Blade as per usual. I will be starting off with the Threaded Cane, but I'll be moving off of that. So, and I will be showing the Upper Cathedral Ward in its entirety. I will be showing the Nightmare Frontier in its entirety. But outside of that, I won't be showing most areas. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, we will name ourselves, um, I need to do something unique. Well, we'll name him Frank. We'll name him Frank. I guess. Yeah, we'll name him Frank. Um, uh, matured. Actually, we'll go young. But I want his, um, uh, horror origin. This is, uh, all these are a little ten except for waste of skin, which is over four. <laughs> um... I don't really care about the amount of blood echoes we start with, so I want an even amount of skill and strength, because Ludwig's Holy Blade scales off of that. I will probably go Military Veteran. Yeah, I'm going to go Military Veteran, I think. Actually, I'm going to go Lone Survivor. It starts with a little bit more vitality, so that's what I'll start off with. Uh, yeah, we'll start that off with that, and it starts off with less blood tinge. Appearance. Um, actually, I don't know. Start off with mature, I guess. Build. I don't really care. Let's make him very barely. I don't really care. Base skin color. Well, should we make him a blaze? Yeah, Frank is going to be a pain. He's going to be glowing. His skin will be glowing. We're going to mess around with the sliders, I guess. <laughs> We're going to be messing around with the sliders quite a bit. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Oh, that kind of gives us a purple-ish uh, tone. Yeah, we're gonna make him purple. Yeah, he's he's kind of purplish now. Yeah, he's kind of purple now, so we'll just leave him like that. <laughs> uh, whoa. Okay, this stuff I'm not really gonna mess with, but we are gonna mess with hair. What do we make his?
What happens if we do all of this? Does it just make it white? Yeah, like it should. Uh, actually, we'll have a lot of blue. We'll not so much green. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Oh, I didn't save it. There we are. Uh, though the hair is... <laughs> um, our hair's not really going to be that important, so... In honor of Toriyama, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. Um, brow color is fine. Beard. I do want to be a distinguished gentleman, so what kind would Goku have? <laughs> I just, I just want a twirly mustache. There we are. <laughs> alright. Uh, alright, I do want glasses. I myself have glasses. I guess I wanna... I just can't see how No. Color guys don't really matter. Alright. That being said, I will show y'all whenever I pick up important items, like where I grab the Lord Holy Blade, and for certain Chalice Dungeons, I will be showing, hey, the lantern that I'm grabbing is from here. Um, also, something that I did not do in my Kermit the Pimp playthrough is I accidentally went to Isofka's playthrough too early, so that is something I will be rectifying in this playthrough. And I will keep in. I think I'll keep in this early game here. We're gonna try to box. Man, it's been quite a long. It's been actually quite a bit since I played this game. But uh, let's go over here. Doesn't really matter if we die. So I was gonna wail on him. Now you are supposed to die to this guy, by the way. Alright. Now, I will say, don't expect me to... Well, well, I guess, yeah. Don't expect me to die too much... Uh, during for actual bosses, except like a Bradus can be a pain in the ass sometimes. And, um, dear god, Lawrence, dear god, Lawrence, the first Vicar should get our weapon here. Uh, we need the you need the threaded cane for uh, gas coin, uh, uh, hunter pistol, and a notebook. Uh, we can't go do that yet. I will not be entering the DLC early either, uh, but let's go ahead and equip our stuff. Trick. Alright. Like I said, I'm going to show the early ages. Well, not early, not early ages. Early stages, but again, go watch my Kermit the Pimp video at the end of those videos i have the lore section so if you just want the lore there those are for you yeah we have quite a bit of stamina oh blood vials probably yep Yeah, I have the lore sec sections at the ends of those videos. Except for the final episode, it was a little bit too long. So I unfortunately di I did have to, um... I had to go ahead and get that whole mess situated. I had to do the lore video separate. That's the only thing that's sort of different about that final episode. Uh, they're kind of organized for the progressions of the game. 
but yeah, that that's kind of how that is. I do want to grab this? The hope I would hope for a Bloodborne remaster. Now, also, I do want to talk a little bit about. I didn't actually mean to parry him, but <laughs> now that I do want to mention to the Bloodborne veterans out there about a whole remake or remaster. Okay. Based on the evidence that I am seeing. Based on the evidence that I am seeing, I personally do not believe we are getting a remaster per se. Um, based on what I've seen and heard with like, leaks and that sort of thing. Um, so people believe that it's going to be a similar to the Demon Souls remake. I think it's a remake. Some of what I have heard is that... Um, oh, hello, Gilbert. So based on what I've heard, it's a remake, not a remaster. Um... And for a lot of people out there, one of the issues with Bloodborne is its frame rate. It's not as simple as just unlocking the frame cap. I know a lot of people want to point to the one guy that did make it 60 FPS, but what people ignore is how much effort it took. It took, and he even said that a lot of things are tied to the frame rate, which is something that none of y'all really care to consider. Uh, also, let's, yeah, let's do that for now. Just to not accidentally use. But, a couple of things I do want to talk about here, so. Also, beautiful face. But, something that I do want to talk about here is the fact that, well. If it is indeed a full remake, which makes the most sense. 60 FPS, I would assume, would be guaranteed, and it would probably be easier to port over to, to PC at that point in time. I don't think it'll be ported to PC immediately, though. So keep that in mind. Don't expect a PC port to come anytime soon. Um, and a lot of things are tied to frame rate. Your dodge is tied to frame rate. A lot of glitches are also tied to frame rate, specifically for uh, Shadows of Yarnum Skip and the Orphan of Cause Skip are both kind of tied to your frame rate. Like, most of the time, you kind of have to actively lower your frames to actually get them done. Your immunity frames. Like, how much frames do you have of immunity when you dodge? Or maybe a backstab. That is dependent on your frame rate. Some bosses in enemies' moveset are tied to frame rate. Um, and certain damages like frenzy and poison. Both of which are tied to frame rate. So, I know poison is, but I'm not... Call me if I'm wrong on Frenzy, but Poison is tied to your frame rate. A lot of things in this game are intertwined with your frame rate, and they can't just simply raise the cap, because when you raise the cap, issues pop up. And also another thing, they'd have to deal with the Chalice Dungeons. I... Well, I would speculate as um, this Bloodborne remake, if it is indeed happening, we're going to pretend it is happening. If it is indeed happening, they're probably doing the Chalice Dungeons as well, and the Chalice Dungeons take a lot of work to do. And I personally, though, let me know what y'all think in the comments, but I would rather not have the Chalice Dungeons, honestly. I just don't think there's, like, I don't think the purpose for them is, I don't think anybody would cry if... Bloodborne got a huge graphical update, got the FPS patch, maybe even came to PC. I don't think anybody would complain if the Child's Dungeons weren't there. Let me know if I'm wrong, but I really don't think anybody would complain about that. So that's just, you know, something I want to point out. Also, there's, there, hello, Garman. Anyways, though, so, alright, I will catch y'all once I have reached the Cleric Beast. God. Oh, my. 
my god. Okay, so we need to get in trick form now. Get behind him. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, I didn't realize he would rip up. God, let's go. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't believe I just first tried Cleric Beast. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, I need the Sock Cleaver for a cheese uh, that I basically will be skipping most of uh, Yahargul. Why are the noises playing for the pig as, as if it's moving? Settle down. You want to move up close to it slowly? I beg your pardon. Sorry, you have to see this. And now we run. So that was a part of the reason why we had the threaded cane. Because you can't swing through the doorway. Unless it decided... What? What is happening? This is so bad! <laughs> okay! <laughs> uh, well, that was probably a lot of your uh, first time seeing that animation. <laughs> and I'm sorry. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah, we'll need the saw cleaver for a cheese later on once we get to Yahar Ghoul. Essentially, when we get to Yahar Ghoul, um, I'm gonna be going through the area, sort of. Normally, first, when I'm meaning sort of normally, I'm meaning I'll be getting the um, Upper Cathedral Ward Key, which I did not do in my 
Kermit the Pimp series. Because uh, I just want to go straight through the game, for the most part. Which will be, which after that will be two optional bosses. Okay, hopefully I can beat Gascoin on my first try, but I don't think I will be able to. Uh, this is going to be dicey. Okay. Okay. I'm dead. What the fuck? Can he not be paired in the second phase? God fucking damn. Please. The, what? Most enemies that have a jump attack. Fuck it. I'm not parrying this guy. I'm not parrying him. I'm not fucking parrying him. I'm done. I'm done trying to parry this fucking. I'm, I'm done trying to parry him. I don't really recommend parrying this guy anyways. What's strange is his jump attacks can't exactly be parried. His hunter axe can get you through the crack sometimes. Now we need to run this way. Getting him stuck there is a lot easier than trying to do this fight normally. <laughs> ah. Yeah, if you don't have the threat of cane, I don't know what to tell you. You really sh it's a pretty much it's a must have if you're a new player, honestly. Specifically for Gascoigne himself. Yeah, we actually need to unlock Odin Chapel. Again, I will be showing it when I get items that I'll be using for the foreseeable future. So, oh, uh, that's the jewel brooch you can give to the little girl. Um, however, that's not how we're going to be using it. Okay, now it should let me. Should let me. We're going to break it. Now, Vicar Amelia also drops a pendant uh, you can break for a special gem. Um, in Amelia's case, it will depend on how much the base version sells. Because I'm going to be perfectly honest, that gem she gives you is useless for the most part. 
And again here, I'm not showing cutscenes for all of the lore and that sort of stuff. And if you want a more full experience, then go watch my Kermit the Pimp series. Okay. So now I'm gonna have to go back to Sophia's clinic and all that jazz. But first, uh, I guess I'll show you my what I put on for my blood gems. I guess that's fine. Even though we won't really be using it too much uh, storage. Oh, okay. We are broke. However, um, bunch of fortification. Yeah, damn it. I need just one bloodstone shard. Oh, his clothes are available for sale. We'll buy them. Uh, also, for other people, generally speaking, your stats kind of do matter in this game, but more particular, your fire, bolt, and your slow, rapid poison, and frenzy do matter. So, um, it's not like armor doesn't matter in this game, it's just, generally speaking, not re they don't really matter, but resistances do, especially for, like, Lady Maria, oh my god. I can't access most of charts. Okay, so I can't actually use that yet. Great. Um, I'm not actually gonna buy blood vials. Welcome, what it? Very well, Ned. Well, my skill to get up to 15 for our visceral damage, and then I will use these. I'll only be able to level up once, probably. Very well, Ned. Uh, but I'm gonna actually level up strength. Because we will need strength in order to wield Lovex Holy Blade. Which I will be getting, but not using. Uh, ooh. Man. Let's go ahead and sell our other clothes. We can buy more. Oh my god, we're broke. Okay. All right. The next time y'all see me will be at. Uh, also, something I should mention. I'm going to be sending the little girl to Sofka's clinic. I'll be sending everyone else. A, so the only two people I will be sending to Sofka's clinic is the little girl and the suspicious beggar. Everyone else I will be sending to Odin Chapel. That's how I usually do it. Uh, that's how I plan on doing it. But uh, I'll see y'all at Bloodstar Feast. Oh my god, I just realized I never uh, hit record. So, um, <laughs> and, uh, this is kind of fucked. I already have the Radiant Sword badge, um, and I have to drop down here, don't I? No! I'm dead. <laughs> okay. But, um, so kind of what I neglected to record was the fact that when I beat Bloodstar Beast with Alfred, Alfred was on 1 HP, um, I want, and that unlocked this door over here to the right that you'll be seeing. God, this is so screwy. I actually recorded a lot. And I thought I was fucking recording, but I guess not. <laughs> okay. The first off. First and foremost, Bloodstar Beast, I beat him. That unlocks this door. Vicar Amelia also unlocks this door, but I beat Bloodstar Beast. Got the Chalice Dungeon. I unlocked the Nut Dungeon already and went through that. Uh, all I did with it was I bought max as many. Uh, I bought about 50 Quicksilver Bullets and maximum amount of Blood Vials, so I don't have to farm. As you can see, I'm at level 23 still. I went to Yahar Ghoul um, and I saved Adela. Be careful. Um, once you get the... 
Um, how do I say this without... How do I say this without getting, like, age-restricted? Um... The woman for the streets. <laughs> we'll, put it, we'll put it like that. Once we get, uh, if you, once you get her over the woman of the streets, uh, over to Odin Chapel, and you have, ex you cannot accept her blood. You have to accept Adela's blood, um, in order for her to not go crazy and kill, um, and kill the, uh, special woman. Okay, well... God, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no, I missed. Oh my god, whoever came up with this, fuck you. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I finally did it. Oh my god, I finally did it. Oh my god, that was so terrible. It is the worst. The worst parkour thing that I have ever done. The absolute worst. There is no other competition. No. No, that is, that is the worst. By the way, this is required for Eileen's quest, specifically. Which I plan on seeing through to a certain extent. But other than that, it has some very valuable things. Like the doll hat clothes, they're expensive and you can sell them easy. Also, Old Hunter's Bone, which I need for um, Orphan of Cause, Lady Maria, and some other things. Oh. There's the doll's real version, well, quote unquote real version. And I need to come here for the third umbilical cord. Small air or hair ornament doesn't really matter per se. It's an item that the doll will give you special dialogue if you uh, give it to her. Which of course we will be doing. What? I, I hear, what's happening? Tell me, Hunter. <sighs> And she gives us the tear stone. Welcome with you. Which isn't necessarily particularly great. It's good if you're you if you have an arcane build or something like that. Right, it gives you HP continues to recover. <coughs> Man. So it's kind of nice for lower stuff, because like our HP is 682. So, that also means it would take a full... It would take a long ass time to up our full HP. So it's like something like if you desperately need a gem in a specific spot, you could just slap that in there. But, for us it doesn't really matter. That being said, I am going to sell the clothes. <laughs> Oh, that does mean we can actually purchase Logos Holy Blade, so we are going to do that. I'm not going to upgrade it, though, for now. We're just going to use the rest to level up. Welcome oh, wait. Please. I need to see what stats this, uh, it requires. 16 strength. Okay, that's fine. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me... One more part into strength. More point in there, then another point to that. Okay. Well, what is it? Very well, let me. 
So, when we're getting our one-third umbilical cords, one, obviously, we just now got. Our second one will be from the woman for the streets. And then oh, our third doctor. one will be from um, your worth in the waking world? Isofka. There is a fourth, I believe a fourth one Murgo gives you by proxy. Um, I believe that's because sometimes you can accidentally fail um, the one for the streets. You can fail her quest. And, like, and you can fail it on accident, too, so they give you a last-minute option for, in case you fail either of those steps. Now, in order to confirm, I need to check. I thought it was Odin Chapel, wasn't it? Huh, that spot isn't there. Also, as y'all can see, Yarrowgul's there. Well, Abandoned Workshop is also there, but... Um, Hypeon Ghoul is the one person that we went to. Interesting. Alright, though, first we're going to help Eileen fight Henrik, and then we are going to, well, to progress her quest, and then we're going to go ahead and fight Witches of Henrik next, and then uh, Vicar Emilia last. Uh, that being said, y'all will not actually see, um, you're not actually going to be seeing um, a single bit of the Witches of Hemlock fight, because <laughs> it's so boring, and I do plan on doing it with zero insight, just because I don't feel like spending any longer than I have to make it as easy as possible, so I won't be seeing that, but you will be seeing Vicar Amelia's boss fight, though, but not necessarily her cutscene. Okay, Henrik isn't here. I literally talked to Eileen, though. What the fuck? Also, I missed this lamp, apparently. Alright, oh well. Guys, I will catch y'all once we get to Vicar Emilio. We're on fast rotation. Wait. I didn't know she actually had voice lines. She has like a little prayer deal. Alright. Okay, let's just take it on. Just take, take her on. We're gonna skip this cutscene. Oh, wow. Oh my god, she does so much damage! Oh, that's a projectile, okay. Just 
back up. Let's let her go crazy. Let's go for the visceral. Yeah. Oh, that was clean. 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 Y'all gotta admit, that was clean. I had that focus up and everything. We're just gonna collect this item here. We don't need to see this cutscene though. Like I said before, we are skipping cutscenes. Okay. And that is the end of us using, um, that's the end of us using the threaded cane, actually. Okay, we can technically access the DLC now, but will I? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't like getting my ass kicked currently. So, um, we're going to use the blood echoes that we just got from Vicar to level up. Um, we're actually probably going to go into Arcane here. Uh, so that we can use old Hunter's Bone. Uh, it requires 15 Arcane. Um, and also Ludwig's Holy Blade does scale off of Arcane as well, so. What is it? Very well, let me... The sooner we get that, probably the better. Um. Okay, and with the rest of this, purchase items. Uh, we will no longer really need Molotovs again. Um, we're just going to use it to buy one, I guess. So we're going to upgrade Ludwig's Holy Blade a bit. Um, I don't really take on the Chalice Dungeon bosses until I've beaten Vicar Amelia. Um, because specifically, the first giant on the first floor is a little bit dicey unless you have poison knives. Um, so really, until you have like poison knives unlocked, it's kind of a little bit dicey. But this dungeon can be accessed without beating any Child Dungeon bosses. Just type in C U M M M, so that's three M's there, then F P K, and that'll get you. That'll get you this. Now, here's what I'm gonna say. First and foremost, just. I, if you aren't good at this game, leveling up a bunch isn't isn't going to carry you to the end. Essentially, um, the the eventually that dungeon isn't particularly useful. Oh, we need. I don't really know how many we need. I'll just get ten for now. Yeah, I'm just gonna get 10 for now. See what's popping. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna get quite a bit more than just that, because I am gonna fully upgrade the pistol as well. Even though we aren't necessarily using it for damage. Bada bing, fortify. So that's plus four now. All right. Um, saw cleaver. No, 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 no. As you can see, even though our um, this does boost it by one point now. <laughs> Love Holy Blade already outpaces um the Threat of Cain with no uh thing. Cause Threat of Cain currently is about 140 and this one is about 175. So we are gonna remove all these gems. And we're going to do that. And that's still only boosted by one, but that's perfectly fine. So that's pretty nice. Insight, we should have oh we don't have uh, Maria's clothes yet. Well, you can also buy um, Bloodstone Shards with Insight. I do not suggest doing that because Blood Rocks are kind of hard to come by. Uh, I'm trying to see what materials I might need. But Bone Marrow, um, not but Bloodstone Chunks, 
and rocks mm -hmm. are a little bit more difficult to come by, so I would suggest um, y'all not waste insight on that sort of thing. I just go into Witches of Hemlock with zero insight because I can. Uh, we are going to get a few extra Molotovs. Like, ooh, that's a little bit too many. Uh, we have enough. Oh, I do need an. I do need antidotes. Let's get about seven antidotes. Let's see, antidotes are more hunters marks, and that left us with about a thousand. We'll waste the rest on quicksilver bullets, because quicksilver bullets will become a rarer commodity at some point. Also, you can use Vicar Amelia's Pendant to get a Blood Gem. It gives whatever weapon you put it on plus 10% against beasts. It's not particularly useful. By the time you get to the other beast bosses like uh, Ludwig the Holy Blade and Lawrence vs. Vicar, there's just flat out better gems than it in their particular slots. I just realized I don't use this version of Ludwig's Holy Blade. Okay, so before I end this video, I don't usually, I forgot that I don't usually use this version of Ludwig's Holy Blade. There are usually three versions to every weapon. There's the regular version, then there's the uncanny version, then there is the time lost version, I believe that's what it's called. The only difference between these versions is what gems they have. Now, the probably the most prominent one you can fight, you can find, generally speaking, is radial gems. These are the circle gems that we have in our current slots. So it's the two circles. Then there's triangle gems. These are the next... They're kind of difficult, but you can find them just playing the game normally. The one that's almost impossible to find a good one that doesn't have a drawback to it is radial gems. Uh, well, not radial. Um, it's the crescent gems, which that's what Ludwig's Holy Blade is. That's what this version is. Thankfully, um, the uncanny version doesn't have this, which is why I usually use the uncanny version. I would suggest you use the uncanny version. All you have to do is just look up a guy where to get it. But uh, that's going to conclude this video. This is basically the early game. I think I'm going to be separating the series by early game, mid game, late game, and DLC independently. Uh, that's probably how I'm going to do this. Mid game might be separated into two videos due to I do want to show all of the Upper Cathedral Ward area. So, but it's a relatively small area and also the Nightmare Frontier. Nightmare Frontier will be for late game stuff. So for bosses, Shadows of Yarnum, Rom, Dark Beast Parl, and I think, yeah, so Shadows of Yarnum, Rom. Dark Beast Parl and Upper Cathedral Ward I will consider to be mid-game. And then, late game, I'll consider One Reborn. Even though, normally speaking, One Reborn is the end of mid-game, in my opinion. Late game, we'll do One Reborn, uh, Amygdala, Mikalash, Murgo. Then, DLC. DLC might have to be two separate videos because of Lawrence. <laughs> and it'll be that DLC. Then the end will be Garamond and Moon Presence. Because I think I... Oh, forgot. Marta Laguerre. We'll do Marta Laguerre in the mid-game section as well. Actually, we... Because we have to do it in the mid-game section because we have to beat Rom first before going back. As on that note, let me know what y'all think in the comments below. And I will catch y'all on the flip side.